Hey, what's up? Welcome to DGen Ed. That's degenerative education, meaning none of this is financial advice. Just me having fun looking at charts like the chart behind me, which is of GameStop, ticker symbol GME. And so here I am recording this on Sunday, August 25th, after GameStop closed Friday, August 23rd at a price of $22.21, being up almost half a percent on the day and going up about another half a percent in the after hours, closing the after hour session at $22.31. And so I wanted to go over the chart here, just looking at these Fibonacci levels, really looking at levels to the downside, but then also some key levels to the upside that I would like to see us getting above. So hopefully we can do that this week. Uh, but before I get into the levels over here, here around the current price action, I did want to point out this 786 here in red at 2169. That has served as a good dip buying level for me in the past. And so I am wondering, since we are just a little bit above it, if we might be dipping to that level again, testing it again. We'll have to wait and see. But then from this orange retracement, do you have the golden pocket up there, which we did wick up to? I just find that pretty cool. And then this yellow retracement, there is one level, the 236, that'll go over in just a second. I'm just going to zoom in on the chart here so we can see the more recent price action. So here, looking at this, uh, you know, the things that stand out to me, one, that 236 is up here at a price of 2564 It would be great if we got to break out and get above that level, closing above $26 a share. I think that would be excellent, as it does look like we could be forming a bull flag here with this move to the upside and consolidation over here, but it's also possible we could be breaking to the downside. And then another level to the upside that I have is 2341, which is Roaring Kitty's average. It's been a surprising couple of months not hearing from him, so hopefully we do get some more tweets and or uh, a Reddit update for his YOLO position. Uh, but that is his average as of the last time that he posted. So, you know, hopefully we get above that so he's not underwater anymore. Uh, but I do think that will be acting as resistance as it did seem to act as support over here. Uh, you know, it might be tough to get above that level, but I think it'd be great once we do get above it. And then I do have this other retracement here in green going from the low that we hit on the fifth when, you know, the market gap down, bounced, started moving higher up to the high that we hit on August 19th, which was at a price of $23.10. That is also a level that I think it would be great to be seeing us closing above, suggesting that we are breaking out. So whether it's 23.10 or really 23.11, 23.41, or getting back up to 25.64 or 26, that would be great. But if that doesn't happen, we do have this red line here, that 786 that I was talking about at 2169. But if we do break below that level, just below it is the 382 at 2143. So maybe we dip to around $21.50 before taking off reclaiming 2341 and so on, as we have been holding above the 236 here at 2207, did wick below it on the 20th, hitting a low of 2196, but so far it does look like $22 has been acting as support, and so hopefully we do get to see that breakout. But if not, some levels to the downside, I do have the golden pocket highlighted here. That's at a price range of about $20.26 up to $20.40, or coming down to that 786, which is at 1967, or you know, have fun with it, 1969. The low here again is 1873. I don't think we're going down that low, and I do think that this gap that's down here at 1746 that we nearly filled uh, during the pre market session when we did have that big drop in the markets on the 5th, we almost came down to fill that gap, but we did not. I don't think we're going to fill that gap. I don't think we're going back to 1770, and I don't think we're going to be retesting 1873 as the floor. Uh, but if we do pull back, I think right around 2150 
or right around 2050 could be support. So that is what I am going to be looking for, but I'm going to be hoping for a reclaim of 2341 this week and maybe the week after getting back up to around 26. But you know, those are just my thoughts. If you found them helpful, make sure you like the video, share your thoughts in the comments down below, and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Thanks a lot for watching.